Payne's Prairie is a great place for RV camping. We hope you enjoy this video of our trip. See you next time we are there. Hi everybody, we're going to uh, Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park. It's just south of Gainesville. Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park is 22,000 acres of wilderness just south of Gainesville. It's also a national natural landmark, one of only 600 in the country. Micanopy is a very old town in Florida, named after a Seminole Indian chief. One of the famous landmarks in this area, Cafe Risque. Embarrassing landmark. It's been there for over 30 years, probably. William Bartram, the famous naturalist, hiked through the area and was given the name Puck Puggy, the flower hunter, by the local Indians. But this was redone, this whole thing? Yeah. Well, part of it. <laughs> yeah. It looks the same as what the guy showed us. It certainly didn't repave the road. Maybe it was the um, electric and all that stuff. Mm. The number five looks new. The sites look pretty level. It's nice in here, yeah. Yeah, you can live, you can live. It's pretty full in here. It's pretty full in here. Considering it's... Tuesday. Tuesday. I haven't seen a number. Okay, there's 36. You're, we're the last one, so. <laughs> yeah, this place is full. That's 48. Okay, so this is it. It looks good. We had Site 50 in the Puck Puggy campground. It was the last site before the dump station and dumpsters, but that really was not an issue as the sites are large and private. Our site was mostly level with quiet neighbors. We enjoyed it. Rhonda, what are you doing? I am watching YouTube videos on my outside TV with um, our new hotspot. <laughs> That's correct. Yes, so I'm very excited. This is pretty cool. What are you doing, Rhonda? I'm washing the dishes, trying not to make a mess. Let's we'll see how that goes. We had a few accidents this morning. Water everywhere. I just don't know what happened, honestly. Too cold. Too cold for me. My body just doesn't function well in the cold weather. Here at Payne's Prairie, I don't know, the campground was supposed to be refurbished. It was closed for four or five months. It seems like all they did was put down new lime rock on the sites. The water and electric, both right where they should be, so that's a good thing. No sewer. 122 volts, 3 amps. Running good. Probably going to disconnect the water in a little bit. It's supposed to go down below freezing tonight and uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning so we have a full fresh water tank. We don't need any city water. We got the fire going good now. It's really not that cold but but Rhonda does have gloves on and a blanket around her. My three shirts still. <laughs> well Rhonda what would you think about today? Well this is a very nice park. Haynes Prairie Preserve State Park. Yeah, it's very nice. It's big though, it's really big. I wish we had a car. There's two hikes that looked really nice, but they're way, you would really have to drive to them. Well, yeah, you have to drive. You have to drive to them. It's a big park, but it's split in two by the prairie, prairie. that's really a big swamp. Right. And so you have to drive to get to the other side and the other side, there's a really cool hike, Lachua hike that you're almost guaranteed to see alligators and wild horses. And it's partially flooded right now because of all the rain we've had. Yeah, we had several inches of rain, but it was really nice today. We had a good time. A little bit colder than I would have liked, but but it's you know it's all relative. We're um, Floridians, and when we when it gets to be 50 degrees, we're freezing. In the Creating New Traditions department, Rhonda just put up our United States map mm -hmm. on our freezer. We're not sure exactly what kind of ceremony we're going to do for each new state, <laughs> but we have earned Florida and Georgia. I think our rule is you have to, in the RV, have spent the night in a state. I think that's a good one. That's so, good. not just drive through? Not just drive through. You have to spend the night. And that's it for Campfire 
maracas. <laughs> The campfire amphitheater was pretty cool. It's right on the water with a lot of seating. I wish we could have been there for some event like a history of the area program. Okay, we're heading up Lake Trail on our bikes. Um, we are in Paynes Prairie State Park. There are several active bald eagle nests in the area. A ranger pointed one out for us. We saw so many beautiful birds. The Great Florida Birding and Wildlife Trail is a network of 510 premier wildlife viewing sites across the state, and this certainly qualifies. It's always so interesting to watch the birds hunt and forage in their native habitat. This park is a bird watcher's paradise. A lot of the people there know all the names of the birds. The Alachua Savannah Visitor Center is a beautiful old building well worth checking out. Several trails start nearby. Inside, there are exhibits that explain the unique geology of the area. Up into the 1700s, it was a big lake. Then a sinkhole opened up and it drained rather quickly. People have lived in this area for over 12,000 years. The Spanish brought cows with them in the 1500s, and this became a prime area for ranching by both the Spanish and the Seminole Indians. All three Seminole Wars had battles in the area. If you're not familiar with that history, Google it. We are about to hike up to the top of this observation trail. It's gonna be fun. The observation tower is right behind the visitor center with a great view. You can see all the way to Gainesville, which has grown so much since I lived there. The area has large stands of beautiful native forest, prairie, and marshlands. There are herds of wild horses, buffalo, and plenty of gators. It really is a wild area, but much of it is so low-lying and flooded much of the year that it's not easy to see most of the park. Okay. We're on 441 at the Paynes Prairie Eco Walk, Eco Passage Observation Boardwalk. And it is wet out here. The last time we were here, this was not all water. <laughs> wow, look at it. It's right up to there. Thank you. See any gators out here? No, not yet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more of our travels. We hope everyone had a great 2018 and is excited for adventures in 2019.